thousands of people took to the streets of Port-au-Prince and other major cities of Haiti on Monday, August 22nd. Protesters were demanding an end to the cost of living crisis, which the country has been reeling under for some time. They were also demanding an end to the insecurity perpetrated by gangs in the island nation, as well as the resignation of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. People marched on the streets with banners and placards, chanting slogans. Riot police officers, in an attempt to disperse the protesters, shot tear gas canisters at them. According to the Platform for National Mobilization, at least two people were killed in the protests on August 22nd. The leaders of the organization confirmed that they died at Delmas and some others were injured when individuals opened fire on the protest. With an inflation rate of around 29%, the highest in the last decade, Haiti has been hit by a cost of living crisis marked by increasing rates of fuel and essential commodities. Moreover, the Caribbean nation has also seen gang violence escalate exponentially in the last year. According to the United Nations report in February, there was a 180% increase in kidnappings in 2021 compared to the previous year. Between July 8th and 17th, over 471 people were killed, injured, or unaccounted for because of gang violence, according to the UN. Around 3,000 people have fled their homes, including hundreds of unaccompanied minors, while at least 140 houses have been destroyed or burnt down. After the assassination of de facto President Jovenel Moïse in July 2021 and a strong earthquake in August 2021, the people of Haiti have been struggling against rising levels of gang violence, fuel shortages, and food insecurity. Thousands of people have attempted to leave Haiti for the U.S. in this period, but many have been stopped and deported by the Biden administration, fueling the social crisis even more. Food insecurity has also been worsening since 2018 in Haiti. According to the United Nations, nearly half of the country's population is at risk of hunger and in need of immediate food assistance. Over the past two decades, Haiti has been rocked by severe storms, floods, landslides, droughts, including the devastating earthquake in 2010 and the Category 4 Hurricane Matthew in 2016. On the 2021 Climate Risk Index list, Haiti is on number three among the countries most affected by extreme weather events from 2000 to 2019.